The next question, um, I probably have to premise this, but looking into a better method of concentrating the sap, uh, boiling is harsh. This is the gentleman that collects sap uh, from the trees and he wants to take it actually down to a powder laden. I'm just wondering if the system you have for vibrating uh, would take the water out and, and uh, leave the material that he's looking for. Uh, well, we don't use we we don't use any heat whatsoever, none, and we use vortexing. Okay, not vibrating. So vortexing is 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 gonna do it. It's definitely not gonna get you into a powder, but it will um, it will get off. Um, it, it will concentrate it. Mm -hmm. Fast. Centrifuge. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome answer. No, because you try to vibrate sap, it's just going to turn into a gunk. Yeah. Network. Especially yeah. if it's high silica. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, this is what he's it. pulling out from the trees, right? So it, it's got everything in it. But, yeah, like I, I know in the, in the oil industry, we use a centrifuge for cleaning the water. Uh, and we call it dewatering, where all the, the hard material is taken out at the level of the screen and the water's just gone again right well ish um yeah <laughs> it, it will just separate and you will be able to pipette most of the separation out and vortexing uh, or uh centrifuging just i mean it takes a matter of minutes and mm -hmm. then you pipette out what you want and the bottom is is mainly your your minerals and yeah. Nutrients, right? So do you crush the leaves before you do this? No. Nope. We do not crush the leaves. Um, crushing the leaves goes into the vacuoles. So if you did crush the leaves, um, you will go into storage of the plant, which is vacuoles, which is great. I mean, if you want to know what the plant is taking up and storing, then, then that would that would you just if you crush, then you would need to know what you're measuring. It's always what are you measuring? It's the test wouldn't be invalid. It's just what are you measuring? Just like the difference between bricks out in the field and the bricks in a lab is different because of mainly the chlorophyll. The chlorophyll increases um, a brick's reading. It's not invalid. It's just understanding that maybe you want to send a few tests into the labs to see the bricks and then calibrate that with what you're seeing in the field because a lot of things refract. So it, it's not invalid. It, there's multiple ways of testing. Just what are you testing? Yeah, that's always been an issue is what are you testing for? Right. Um, because you can manipulate the test to show any kind of result you want depending yep. on the testing. And if you crush the leaves, you would get... Um, increased macronutrients a lot of potassium for instance and you could manipulate that data to i have a lot of potassium and my product works if you wanted to. <laughs> so how do you extract the sap you just put the whole leaf in the centrifuge and spin it like hell no <laughs> <laughs> Is that proprietary, Jenny? Yes, yes it is. Okay. okay. Uh, fair enough. I kind of noticed with the hesitation. So um, zips the word. We hope that one day it's not. And we love collaboration. And we hope one day we don't want to be secretive forever. And we don't think we should. And um, because there's a lot of growers out there. And one lab isn't enough. Yes. Yeah. That's for sure. There are others. So, um, but yeah, we would love a collaboration meeting of, of, of all the SAP labs, but they're not into it. So we'll just keep trucking. <laughs>